Welcome to the Flow Quick Start Guide. In this series of videos, you'll learn how to use Nutanix Flow to protect your apps and desktops from network attacks like malware and ransomware. You'll see how easy it is to get started with a one-click enablement process, how to categorize your desktops and create security policies, how to use visualization and logging to deep dive into the traffic in your environment, and more. You can follow along using your own cluster with a 60-day free trial of Flow, or take a test drive at Nutanix.com Flow. Let's get started by enabling Flow and looking at the traffic in a simple application. Navigate to Prism Central and Prism Central Settings and Microsegmentation for the Flow one-click enablement process. We can see that a number of pre-checks are run against the connected AHV clusters to determine whether or not these clusters are capable of running Flow. In this case, we'd only have one connected cluster and we see that it is capable of running Flow. So we just check Enable Microsegmentation and hit Save. And this starts the process of implementing Flow on all of those connected AHV clusters. Now that Flow is enabled, we can take a look at that application our developers deployed. So they told us that two VMs were deployed and they were both named Flow Quick Start with FQS in the name. So let's navigate to those VMs in Prism Central and we can see them deployed here. But what we don't know is what's happening between those two VMs. You know, what ports are they listening on and what traffic are they sending internally and externally? With the addition of cloud-based Flow Security Central available from your My Nutanix account, you now have the tools to solve this problem. So we navigate over to Flow Security Central and we see that there's a new network and micro segmentation tab available as well as VM security status. This allows us to see which VMs are sending the most traffic and which VMs might have security problems such as not being categorized or part of a policy. Here, security planning uses machine learning to group these VMs together. And we see that there are a selection of two virtual machines that are our developer deployed FQS or Flow Quick Start VMs. Machine learning has decided to group these VMs together because they're communicating with each other. So if we click on these VMs to explore the traffic further, what we see is uh, there's some traffic between the VMs, between VM01 and VM02, on port 3306. And this gives us a, tra a view of all that traffic as, as well as a count of how many connections there were. So it looks like this might be a database server running on VM02. And then if we look at the traffic between the outside world and VM01, here as external traffic to VM01, we can sort this by the count and see that this might be some sort of a web or application server because it's running on port 8080 and accepting connections from the outside world. So using Flow Security Central and its machine learning, we know that these applications, these VMs, are part of the same application, so we could assign them an app type value. And we also know that one is a web server and one's a DB server, so we could assign them uh, the relevant tiers with an app tier category. So just like that, we've used Flow Security Central with Flow to figure out what our application is and then assign categories to it that will be useful for our policies later on. Now that Flow is enabled, you're ready to discover application traffic and create policies that protect the apps and desktops you care about. Check out the next video in the Flow Quick Start series to learn more about categories and policies, and be sure to follow along at home or take a test drive at Nutanix.com/flow. Thanks for watching.